Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In the last class, we discussed about view state and what is the scope of view state. And we have seen uh, the limitations of view state within the page. Today, we will discuss about query string. So, view state uh, main point is to maintain the values within the same page. Query string. If you want to pass the data from one page to another page, we will go for what? Query string. The main uh, differences in one technique to another technique is scope. Okay, nah? There are a lot of techniques are there. Client side state management techniques, view state, query string, cookies, hidden fields. So view state scope is within the base, query string scope is from one base to another base. So before going to query string, we must know about some important interview question. What is the difference between response.redirect and server.transfer? So response.redirect, if you take a website, website is nothing but a collection of web pages. After developing the web application, you have to deploy that application on the server so that uh, the communication between multiple web pages is happening depending on the user interaction. So if you want to navigate the request from one page to another page, so response.redirect, it is used to navigate the request between multiple web servers. For example, here you see this is one web, uh, one web server and another web server. One web server having one application that is another web server. If you want to navigate the request from one server to another server, we will use response.redirect. Server.transfer, it is used to navigate the request within the same web server. Response.redirect from one server to another server. Server.transfer, it is used to navigate the request within the same web server. The other point is, response.redirect is used to maintain the, it, it will not hide the destination URL address. Whenever you try to navigate the request from one uh, page to another page, the destination page URL will be visible within the browser. Server.transfer will hide the destination URL address. Okay, so practically we will see this uh, about response.redirect and server.transfer. Okay. Here let us assume that I am developing one web, uh, for example, this is one web server. This is another web server. Okay, na? So, website is, uh, here I have one web application. Web application is collection of what? Web pages. One web application will have multiple web pages. This is one web page. This is another web page. Here, multiple web pages are existing in single application. And these all applications are available in one web server. This is one web server one. And here I have web server 2. Is it clear? Now here I have one application. And let us assume that here also I have some application is there. One application can have multiple web pages. So response.redirect is used to navigate the user request between multiple web servers. If you want to navigate the request from one web server to another web server, we will use response.redirect. Response.redirect is used to navigate the user request between multiple web servers. Server.transfer, it is used to navigate the request within the same web server between multiple web pages. So let, practically let us see this example, you will get some clarity. So here I will try to go to my design. Here you can take one page one.aspx, here I will try to go to toolbox. And here I'll try to drag and drop one button control. And here one more button. And here what I will do, this is my page one. I'll try to, uh, this is double click on button one and write the code. Here I'll try to go to my Gmail, uh, Google browser and I'll try to open google.com. And here I'll copy the Google URL. Now here Google is existing on another server. My application is existing on another server. This is uh, IIS actually. So I'll try to write response.redirect of. Here I'll give the destination URL address, google.com. And here double click on button and write the code. Here I'll try to write server.transfer of. Here I'll try to give something like google.com. So what is the happening here? Now my this is one application. This application deployed in one server. And uh, my... Uh, Google is uh, available in another server. So if you want to navigate from one server to another server, then you have to go for response.redirect. It is used to navigate between multiple servers. 
server dot transfer within the same web server here you see i have two buttons when i click on button now my page one dot aspx is in ias now it will navigate to google okay so it is working between multiple servers but when you go for server dot transfer you will get an error because it, it, it is used to navigate within the same web server that is one point another point now here i'll try to go to project add new item select web form the name i will try to give here as something like page 2 dot aspx here i'll try to give the name as page 2 dot aspx click on add button this is page 2 okay now so here i'll try here i'll write something like i am page 2 so here if you observe clearly now when user clicks on button one i want to navigate to another page that is page 2 page 2 dot aspx so here also i'll try to give something like page 2 dot aspx so now here response dot redirect server dot transfer both will work within the same web server same web server both is possible but response dot redirect between other server also click on button one so here you got i am page two and here i got i am page two both are working so the first point is response dot redirect is used to navigate the request between multiple web servers server dot transfer is used to navigate the request within the same web server that is the first point second point is if you observe clearly now currently i am in page uh, uh, one so whenever user clicks on button now i am going to page two so the res response dot redirect will not hide the destination url address it will not hide the destination url address which page you are there that page uh, will exist server dot transfer will hide the destination url address see actually you are in page two but the url is page one response dot redirect will not hide the destination url address but server dot transfer will hide the destination url address that is the main difference between response dot redirect and server dot transfer okay so now we will discuss about query string what is query string means query string is used to pass the data from one web page to another web page the syntax to store the pass the value generally we can uh, if you want to pass the values from one page to another page either we have to use response dot redirect or server dot transfer let us see practically how to work with this query string okay query string is used to pass the values from one page to another page query string will display the data but what are the data that you are passing by using query string the data is within the browser url address so it is not recommended to store sensitive information like password by by using query string query string will send the data via the browser url so the maximum capacity of the browser is 4kb we cannot send more than 4kb of information using query string so let us see here uh, we'll do one example with query string so here this is your page one we already have uh, now here you, you see uh, i will try to take one more page go to project add new item select web form here i'll try to give the page as page two page two dot aspx page two is already there or what page two is already there i think so this is page two so now i want to pass the value from one page to another page so here uh, one point is syntax to pass the value syntax to pass the value by using query string by using query string syntax is something like this response dot redirect response dot redirect of here i will try to give destination url question mark query string name query string name colon uh, is equal to value this is the syntax to pass the value by using what query string here syntax to read the value syntax to read the value from query string syntax to read the value from query string if you want to read the value from query string you can give something like request dot query string of here request dot query string of here you can mention the query string name it is used to read the value from query string let us see here anyway double click on button and here i'll try to pass the value here i'll write response dot redirect otherwise i'll do one small real time example here i'll try to go to your toolbox 
and here I'll try to drag and drop one text box control from toolbox and here I'll write something like enter your name is it clear and here double click on button I want to display the name in the next page so here I'll try to write something like response dot redirect of here I'll try to give the destination URL address page 2 dot ASPX question mark query string name some name you can give otherwise some variable name x is equal to double code plus here I'll try to give text box one dot text okay now this is the destination URL this is the value so in page 2 dot ASPX what I will do let us see uh, I, I want to display the value in the query string uh, in, in the label here I'll try to go to your toolbox here I'll try to drag and drop one label so in the page load I'll try to write the code label one dot text is equal to here I'll try to give something like welcome plus here I'll try to give request dot query string of query string name x syntax to read the value from query string is it clear some name query string itself is a string so no need to type cast so this is your page one press f5 so query string is used to pass the value from one page to another page view state scope is within the same page here i'll try to give something like some kanna babu i will give and here you can click on button so it will go to another page you will get welcome kanna babu but the problem with this uh, response that redirect is whatever the value that you are sending that value is visible within the browser url address so sometimes in interviews they'll ask how to hide the destination url address when you work with query string means you have to use server dot transfer what you have to use server dot transfer of destination url and here you can give the value okay so here you can press f5 check the output so see the difference in response dot redirect and server dot transfer here server dot transfer will not uh, will hide the destination url address response dot redirect will not hide the destination url address here you can open kannababu click on button and similarly you can open kannababu here also you got but if you observe the url when i click on button one url is displayed value is displayed but in button two value is not displayed still you are in same page this is how you can work with the query string okay try to watch my videos in uh, so that is how you can work with view state and query string the scope of view state is within the page the scope of query string is from one page to another page for more videos try to subscribe to my channel and you can uh, log in to my youtube i have created one more channel called python in telugu by kanna babu that also you can uh, subscribe and share to your friends in the next video we'll discuss about cookies okay thank you have a nice day